Okay, what's your name, bro? Dylan. Dylan. My yes, name is Khaled. Khaled. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So we're just having conversations with people on campus. Okay. Um, uh, do you believe in God? I do. Okay, so what would you classify your faith as? Um, a non-den- non-denominational Christian. Non-denon, okay. C- can you explain that a little bit more for us? So I don't belong to like a single church like Baptist or Methodist or anything like that. Uh-huh. I just, be- I purely believe what's in the Bible. Um, not any one interpretation of it. Interesting. Just my own, I guess. Got it. So, as you know, there have been many changes in the Christian faith when you talk about creedal changes, Nicene, the Nicene Creed, uh, churches separating from different churches throughout history. Mm-hmm. So I see your, your idea that let's just stick to the text, mm-hmm. leave the philosophy out of it, leave the politics out of it. Let's just stick to, strictly to the text. Yes. So... You believe, what's your belief around the Bible? Do you believe it's 100% God word? Uh, what's your belief around the Bible? Um, and which Bible do you follow? I mean, I follow more of the English Standard Version. Um, but it, it's more of like, um, can you repeat the question again? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, what's your belief around the Bible? Do you believe that the Bible is 100% God word? Or, and, or do you believe that it was actually written by man? Or what's your belief around the Bible? I do believe that it was written by man. Yes. I feel like a lot of what man said was spoken. Um, a lot of God's word was spoken through man. Yeah. Um, do I believe that a, that some of it isn't entirely accurate? I Maybe. Yes. Um, I'm, and I've been questioning that a lot recently, yes. whether or not it's 100% accurate yes. or if there are some that, yes. you know. Okay, interesting. So basically, we're Muslims. Okay. As you know, Jesus spoke Aramaic. Mm-hmm. The earliest manuscripts we have of the Bible are not Aramaic. Aramaic is a dead language. The earliest manuscripts we have is in Greek, Kone Greek. Yeah. Are, are you familiar with that? Um, I'm not familiar with the history of it. So but... basically, the earliest manuscripts, you're talking about like primary source material of the yeah. Bible. These are in Kone Greek, mm-hmm. which is a language that Jesus did not speak. And we know that the, the, the authors of the Bibles... Are most of them are unknown to us and and or anonymous? Mm-hmm. Like when you see like John, Mark, these are according to mm-hmm. this person, not that this person wrote it. Yeah. Even in the the book of uh, Hebrews, the author is anonymous. Yeah. There is no there is no this book is anonymously written. Yeah. We're saying as Muslims that God's word cannot be changed, mm-hmm. cannot be interfered with. Yeah. The idea that man can come into the scripture, change it, and or write it from his own mind, this is unfathomable and it's uh, it's uh, blasphemous. Yeah. So, on that note, what's your idea around Jesus? Are you a Trinitarian? Are you a Bitarian? Are you a Unitarian? What type of Christian are you? I believe more in the Trinity. You believe it? So, you believe that the Jesus, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are co-equal, co-eternal? Yes. Interesting. Do you believe that God is all-knowing? I do believe that He is, yes. So God, He must know everything and He cannot not know one thing. Yeah. Okay, are you familiar in the Bible where Jesus says that, He's questioned by, by saying that, when is the hour? And He says that, not the Son knows, not the angels know, only the Father knows. Are you familiar with this verse? I'm not too familiar with it, now. So basically, Jesus is asked, when is the hour? Jesus responds that He does not know, the angels don't know. Only the Father knows. Mm-hmm. So would you... What, what do you have to say about that verse? Jesus did not know the hour. That would, that would probably contradict my idea of the Trinity. And, yeah. yeah. There's so many places in the, ver- in the Bible where it shows Jesus as a human. Mm-hmm. He did not know the hour. The, for example, he did, uh, he did not... Uh, he, he, when you read the Bible in its context, you see that Jesus had a human aspect to him. Mm-hmm. The idea that he's equal with the Father is just, uh, it's anti, it's extra biblical. Yeah. Even though Jesus says in the Bible that the Father is greater than I. Mm-hmm. Just that statement alone disproves the co-equality of the Son and the Father. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. And that's why actually a lot of early Christians in early church history, they were not Trinitarian. Yeah. They were actually, they, they thought that Jesus was a prophet sent by God and that God is only one. Because most Christians are, early on were Jews. Mm-hmm. So they, they held the Jewish belief that there's one God. And that 
God has no images. God has, he cannot be a human. It's, these are blasphemy, blasphemic thoughts. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, the, the, the creedal aspect of the Trinity only came into place around 325. If you're familiar with the Nicene Creed. No. So then you can, you, we can watch this back and like research all. Of, uh, okay. Like. Basically, the Nicene Creed was a gathering of all the bishops in Rome. In, mm -hmm. in, in, in Rome. And it was uh, issued by the conqueror at the time, the, the, the Caesar at the time, which was Constantine. Are you familiar with Constantine? Yeah, I'm familiar so with Constantine. So he told everyone, come and, and basically, you know, debate your ideas so we can unify the Christians on one thought. Mm -hmm. And so it was like an idea, but it was basically a debate between the Arians, which were mostly uh, Unitarian. They believed that Jesus was a prophet, not a god. Yeah. And between the Trinitarians, and there was also what they called the semi-Arians, which were alongside the Arians. But the Trinitarians believed that no, that Jesus is equal, co-equal, co-eternal with the Father and Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And only then did Constantine rule that this is now the creed of the Christians uh, of the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. 325 years after Jesus. Yeah. So that's why we would say that the Trinity in itself is extra biblical. It's not in the Bible. Yeah. Since you say you're, you know, you follow the Bible, so you shouldn't believe in the Trinity. You should believe in one God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what would you have to say about this idea that... Uh, this monotheistic idea. I think it actually Drink water, Wakil, drink water. I... <laughs> um, you know how lightheaded. Yeah, I, I, I don't blame him, it is hot. <laughs> Wakil, drink water. Um, I think it does make a lot of sense. Um, yeah. In, in the idea of the Bible. If, yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't had the chance over my life to fully read it. Yeah. I've only been able to read certain verses and certain chapters. Yeah. Um, Interesting. But going back and researching all this, if this is, you know, like, yeah. I, I'm not saying you're wrong, but yeah. if this is in the Bible and this is, then yeah, it would totally make sense to me. From, awesome. Um, I see, bro, I see you're super sincere. Like, you, you're not one of those um, people that are like, no, this is my faith and, and no one will ever change it. Even though I can get your information, I will not change it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Those, those type of people. But basically the Islamic belief, I'll give you the Islamic belief. Mm -hmm. The Islamic belief is that there is one God where they worship, only one God. Mm -hmm. We believe in all the old prophets, the biblical prophets, Jesus, Moses, David, Solomon, Ismail, Abraham, may peace be upon all of them. We believe that these are prophets sent by God mm -hmm. with miracles and messages from God, message, message one from, from God, that to worship God, to not kill, to not murder, these, these like similar beliefs throughout the Abrahamic faiths. We believe that God sent the messengers to tell the people this mm -hmm. and that Jesus was not God nor was he a part of a triune God. Yeah. He was a messenger of God, similarly to, similar to Moses. And Jesus, similar to Moses, performed miracles. Mm -hmm. We believe that he raised the dead with God's permission. We believe that he cured the, 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 the sick with God's permission. We believe in all of this. Mm -hmm. And we believe he's the Messiah. We believe he's the, uh, in, in these things. Uh, but just that, and, but we don't take it to the, we, we, we're in the middle. We don't negate Jesus like the Jews. We mm -hmm. don't say that he was an imposter and that his mother uh, was like, she was accused of something terrible. No, yeah. no, we have a, we hold these people, Jesus and Mary, uh, in high regard in Islam. Even mm -hmm. there's a whole chapter in the Quran uh, named after the mother of Jesus, Miriam, actually. Hmm. And that uh, Jesus was one of the mightiest prophets. And that, uh, and, but we also don't go as far as the Christians do and we worship Jesus, no. Mm -hmm. We say he's a man, he's a messenger, he came with a message from God to worship one God. Mm -hmm. And we believe that there's a final prophet named Prophet Muhammad. This is a prophet that came to the Arabs, to the Arab nation in around the seventh century. Mm -hmm. And he basically gave the same message as the previous prophets, to worship one God, not worship idols, don't kill, don't steal. And, uh, and he's even mentioned in the Bible of mm -hmm. Muhammad. If you uh, watch this over later, mm -hmm. you can see in Isaiah chapter 42, verse 11, it talks about a man to come with a new law to the people of Kedar. Kedar are the Arabs. Mm -hmm. Uh, near a mount called a mountain called the Mount Sila. The Mount Sila is a mountain located in, in today Medina, mm -hmm. which is where the city of the Prophet, where he lived for 13 years of his life. So, uh, what do you have to say about this? So, I understand where the faith comes from. Yeah. And I understand that Muhammad was a prophet. Um, mm. But to me, in my Christian faith, um, I believe that, you know, Christ died on the cross. He died for our sins. And that's where I go in my faith, where I, why I worship him. You go by the Bible, correct? Mm -hmm. Anything extra biblical you don't accept? Not really, no. As divine? 
Now, the idea that Jesus died in the Bible is not there. The idea that Jesus died for your sins is an extra biblical, creedal position that the church fathers argued amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. Think about it logically. Daniel, right? Daniel, right? Dylan. Dylan, sorry. Yeah, I know. Dylan. Think about it logically. Mm -hmm. If I were to steal a chocolate from a store, Mm-hmm. And then the, the so I commit a sin. The store owner comes and says, "You stole, you did bad. But if you want me to forget about this and wipe this away from your slate, take my son, kill him, and I'll forgive you." <laughs> Would this make sense to you logically? No. <laughs> this is what the Christian belief is saying, suggesting that that we are all sinners. Mm-hmm. And that God sent His only begotten Son mm-hmm. to be killed so we can all be forgiven. Mm-hmm. That's the belief. So the idea that this, this idea in and of itself is illogical, does not go with the, nat- like the natural uh, moral framework that comes uh, in the mind. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we say that, uh, that this actually uh, is an, gives Christians an excuse to do whatever they want. Because if Jesus died for my sins, I can do whatever I want. Mm-hmm. I'm not accountable Jesus, I can always say Oh Jesus died for my sins Jesus died for me No we don't have that in Islam We have in Islam That you are accountable For everything you do No one else mm-hmm. That no one will take A burden of someone else You did wrong God will question you about that You did good God will give you good About that mm-hmm. No one else can take Your sins for you No one else can Take your good deeds from you Unless you wronged him of course You see the You see the moral standpoint On that Yeah Would you agree Which one would you agree with more it's hard to say because, you know, being a Christian all my life, that's yes. what I believed. Yes. Um, and as you probably know, it's not easy just changing oh, faith, course. right? That, no, I like know. That. Of course, I know. I'm not, I'm not telling you to change your faith per se now. I'm not mm-hmm. saying that. I'm saying to think about the religion critically. Mm-hmm. The idea that God sent his only son to be killed so we can all be forgiven for whatever. This takes away responsibility from us. Mm-hmm. And we believe that God is all just. We believe that God will not kill someone for someone else's sins let alone kill we don't we, we don't believe someone god can give you a bad sin because he did it mm-hmm. let alone kill him we believe this is unjust yeah that's the islamic point of view the islamic point of view is that we believe that all of these extra biblical things that they're not true that jesus uh did not die for our sins that jesus was just a messenger and he was sent to the children the lost sheep of israel as you know in the bible mm-hmm. to tell them to because the jews they they corrupted their religion came to fulfill the law not to get rid of the law mm-hmm. um, and so that's pretty much it so you, you, you believe in one God mm-hmm. you, you said earlier you believe that Prophet Muhammad is a prophet mm-hmm. that's a Muslim belief yeah. you know what I mean that's exactly what it is to be a Muslim that a Muslim in Arabic by the way Muslim means submitter it means you, you submit your will to God you can call him Allah Allah just means the God in Arabic Yeah. you can call him God you can call him it's just the main concept of Islam is that you submit your will to the God to God's will. You understand? Yeah. So the, the basically the testimony to become Muslim is that you say, I bear witness that there is no God except God, except Allah. And I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet. And you also believe that Jesus was not a God, he was a prophet as well. Mm-hmm. So I would tell you tell you, Daniel. Dylan. D- Dylan, 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 sorry, sorry, so sorry. <laughs> You already believe these things. Mm-hmm. We're just saying you to just say them with your tongue. Do mm-hmm. you see what I mean? Yeah. So I would just, you like to do that? Um, not today, yeah. but I would. You know, I'll definitely do my re- do more research yeah. about it, and maybe down the line, you know. Like I would tell you, like for example, do you like chips? Yeah. <laughs> say with me. I like chips. I like chips. That's basically what what being a Muslim is. Mm-hmm. You believe that there's one God. You believe that the Prophet Muhammad is a prophet. Mm-hmm. To be a Muslim, you just say this with your tongue. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. So similarly, I'm not telling you to believe in anything new. You already believe these things. Similarly, I said, do you like chips? I said, say, do you li- I like chips? I like chips. Is there an issue with that? No. So w- would you like to say what you believe already in your heart with your tongue? And you can always, this is not, to, this is not gonna make you an alien. Mm-hmm. You can just become Muslim and go home and you do your research. You mm-hmm. see everything you believe in, the, in for yourself objectively. The thing is that in Islam, if someone dies upon disbelief, he dies 
there's the there's we believe God is all forgiving. He forgives everything if you ask for forgiveness, mm -hmm. except for one thing, which is called shirk. Shirk is associating partners with God, basically saying God has a son. We, I worship God, but I also worship this tree. This is associating part. This is one thing that God does not forgive, and someone will enter hellfire for this. Mm -hmm. Understand? So my advice to you, I'm not gonna, I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. But my advice to you is take your testimony, be Muslim, and then go home and do your research. What do you have to say about that? Um, I appreciate it, but I'm not really willing to make any, yeah, yeah make any promises or statements right now understood. until I, you know, go home and read all about it and um, make a, the decision for myself yeah. whether I want to deviate from my faith. Got it. And it wouldn't be deviation, by the way. We believe that Jesus came and he told mm -hmm. the people to worship one God. We believe that Jesus did not come and say to worship me with God. No. We believe that Jesus said, worship the Father. <coughs> worship God. The Father is greater than I. Mm -hmm. I, I of myself cannot do anything. So this is the thing that Jesus said. Mm -hmm. Jesus in the garden, he, he prostrated to God like how, we, like how we pray, the Muslims. Mm -hmm. He put his head on the floor. What, we would say that you would not be deviating from Christianity if Christianity means following Christ, following Jesus. Mm -hmm. We would say following Jesus means to follow Prophet Muhammad because Prophet Muhammad is, is, is prophesied in the Bible himself. Mm -hmm. So we would say you becoming a Muslim is actually you following Jesus. Mm -hmm. You would be going back to worshiping one God, not worshiping a human. Yeah. You would go back to what Jesus was doing himself. And in that, uh, I appreciate your conversation, bro. Yeah. And I hope you go home and you do you do, you do your research and you eventually find Islam because uh, even the Islam itself, the word Islam, is just submit. Don't mm -hmm. say I'm a Christian. Don't say I'm a Jew. Don't say I'm a, uh, I, I follow Judaism. Don't say I follow Hinduism. No, say I'm a submitter. Mm -hmm. Even the Quran says Abraham, Prophet Abraham. You believe it, Prophet Abraham, right? Yeah. Was Prophet Abraham a Jew? He, he was the one that started the Jewish faith, wasn't he? Prophet, so Jew, Prophet Abraham. Jews, let mm -hmm. me tell you real quick. Jews come from the lineage of, uh, of someone named Judah. Mm. So, right? Judah, yes. Judah is the son of Isaac. Isaac. Isaac is the son of Abraham. Abraham was not a Jew. He was not a descendant of Judah. He was his grandfather. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Abraham was not a Jew. Abraham came before Christians uh, made their faith. Abraham was not a Christian. Mm -hmm. What was Abraham? In the Quran, it says that Abraham, was, he was not a Christian nor a Jew. But he was a submitter to God. He submitted his will to one God. Mm -hmm. He was a monothe monotheistic submitter, which in Arabic is Muslim. You see? He was following Islam, which means submission to God. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, please go home, do your research. And uh, I, I give, I'll give you my number so we, we can keep in contact if you'd like. Okay. Sound good? Thank you, bro. Yes. Thank you, bro. ما كان إبراهيم يهوديا ولا نصرانيا ولكن كان حنيفا مسلما وما كان من المشركين